I'm Eva Foster and I worked as a find assistant for Cotswold Archaeology here at Hinkey I just wondered, sir, if you can tell us a little bit about what your job in involved. Um, ba basically, it's processing of the finds as when they come out of the ground. We get them from the diggers. They bring in, in buckets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we separate them out into their materials, weigh them, yeah. and then start the cleaning process. And it, with pottery, it would be toothbrush and a bowl of water. But with metal finds, we might mm -hmm. pack them up with silica gel in, in little boxes and send yeah. them off to their relevant specialists. Okay. I just wonder if we just have a closer look at some of the pottery you've got there. Yeah, this is this is just a bit I've just found just now. This is quite a nice little jar. If you can see, that's the base of it there. Oh, yes, you can definitely make out that's a base. Mm. I, can't, I can't find any rim shirt, but it looks like it's, we might have pretty much the whole thing. Yeah, and they could have all been from the same, from mm. the same pot. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So that's quite nice. Okay. Um, is there anything else there that's of interest? Um, just trying to find this bit here, a nice bit of Roman pottery, it has a little thumb imprint in it. Yeah. For the pattern. Oh, you can just about sort of see if you can just point. Just here. Oh yeah. So have been, that's have right. Decorated it with a thumb like that, so it's the thumbprint of a Roman. Wow, that's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? To kind of think, you know, it's about two thousand years old, and mm. there we've got the thumbprint. Yeah. Wow. So okay, well your job must be really interesting. Yeah, it is. We get all of the goodies and do none of the hard work digging ones. <laughs> <laughs> is there any particular find that really stands out, or this particular excavation that you, you thought was really interesting or, or unusual? We had quite a large quern stone and it's mm. called a, a beehive quern. It's absolutely yeah. huge and mm -hmm. it was basically for grinding corn. They would put the corn on stone, put another stone on top, yeah. and rotated the stone to grind it into flour. Yeah. And that was quite nice, it had a little hole in the stick went in was it yes span it round and ground, ground the corn we also had a barbed and tanged arrowhead which oh wow really mesolithic or neolithic to early bronze age yes and that was quite old and quite nice yes we also had a few nice copper alloy brooches mm. that were really nice that's an amazing Just thing about with pins and everything that was an amazing thing about, about this site, is just that we've got so many finds dating through the Bronze Age and the Iron Age and into the Roman period and spanning such a huge kind of expanse of time. It's kind of amazing to think that people were kind of inhabiting this this area for such a long time. Mm, throwing their stuff around for us Yeah, to find. that's right, for us <laughs> to find sort of all these years later. Yeah. Right, well that's been really interesting. Thank you ever so much for that.